Hello my friends, it's Caddy, and I am back with another project for the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. Um, and I am going to begin today with a white piece of cardstock. This is just white American Crafts cardstock. And I am going to use this stencil. You guys saw me use this stencil um, on my last project uh, for the blog hop that we did with Crafty Jen Scow. Uh, so that's the Americana uh, stencil and it's little tiny hexagons. Um, and I am using uh, two shimmers products from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop, which is the um, yellow one, it's the lemon drop, and then the coral one, it's called Coral Me Crazy. And also to add just a little bit of a darker pink, um, not too dark, but just a little bit darker, I'm bringing in that Heidi Swap texture paste in pink, just because I don't have a shimmers yet, <laughs> yet, because I will very soon, um, in that color. So. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting quite a few more um, of those shimmers from, from the store because I just love them, love, love, love them. So I just created a fun little background there, um, just mixing in a few of those colors. Um, and I'm going to bring in some sequins. Uh, so I am going to bring in some of these. These are from the Peachy Sherbet sequin pack. And I'm also bringing in the yellow ones from the Believe in You sequin pack. So. Um, those are the two sequin packs I use. Now I'm going to take this little frame, this little frame I got at Michael's um, and I got that not too long ago actually. I got it um, probably about a month or so ago. And I'm going to take some acrylic paint and I'm going to take uh, two of their Apple Barrel acrylic paints. They're from uh, Walmart and they're the inexpensive acrylic paints. And the colors are Tropic Orange and Yellow Flame. So those are the two colors. And I'm going to just kind of dab them with that sponge and I'm going to mix them and kind of blend them with my finger. And I really love how it turns out. It um, turns out really nice and nice blended soft look. So I really, really love how it turned out. Um, and you can see I'm just kind of mixing it in and then just wherever I feel it needs more of the other color, I just add, add it with the sponge and then I just blend it in. So in the end it turned out really cute. I like it. I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. And I find that my finger is the best way to blend it. <laughs> um, and then I'm just adding some color to a little tiny piece that broke off. So I'm just adding some color to that so I can reattach that <laughs> when I adhere it down. So I'm just about finished here. I'm just adding a little bit more of the uh, yellow where I felt that it needed it. So, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to dry it a little bit now. And I just I love love how it turned out. It just turned out great with the uh, with that background with the shimmers um, and that stencil. I really love it. I think in the end I add a couple more sequins in the background that I don't think I record, just because I felt like it needed like I think probably another set of sequins somewhere. Um, but in the end, yeah, that's all I did off camera. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna add those two little uh, pink triangles, and the pink triangles are just scrap like a pink scrap from my sash <laughs> that was in my little scrap uh, my pink scrap um, what is it my pink scrap bag because <laughs> um, I have like big huge like not huge but like the eight and a half by eleven like ziploc bags which is where I keep my stri my scraps by color so I just picked a scrap from there and then I am going to cut down my photo it's gonna take me a minute to kind of get it uh, cut down to fit behind that uh, wood frame without it showing so I will come back and it'll be done <laughs> because it does take me a minute and I have to kind of just play around with it to get it perfect so um, that's what I'm doing there and uh, just getting that down and I love how it turned out and the photo is of my niece it was uh, the day she was born at the hospital so it's my very very first picture with my niece and it's just me and her and I'm just looking at her and she's looking right back at me and she's so cute and so tiny so I just love this photo um, and I hadn't scrapped it, so this was the perfect opportunity. <laughs> I'm going back and scrapbooking a lot of older photos because I tend to sometimes scrap like things that just happened and then I kind of skip a lot of old things. So, <laughs> so I'm just kind of going back and then scrapping. I don't scrap chronologically at all. I scrap all over the place. Whatever I'm in the mood to scrap at that moment, it's what I scrap. So. <laughs> that's what I do <laughs> so I decided to take some of these um, core cards but I won't end up using them 
I could have. Um, I love these cork hearts. These are the chunky hearts from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. Uh, but I don't end up using them. I just didn't, um, I don't know. I didn't want cork on this layout. And um, and I love cork. If you guys know me, you guys know that I love cork. But I don't know. I just didn't, uh, didn't want to use it on this layout. So just showing you there the uh, two sequin packs that I used, the PT Sherbet and Believe in You, which are the yellow ones. I'm going to take this little bow. This is Offre, and it's from um, Walmart little gold bows which are really cute from Walmart and they were pretty inexpensive too and then I'm taking some tangled thread something that I love love doing I'm loving it <laughs> um, of course uh, the lovely Missy Wynn got that from her so just love um, tangling up thread it's just fun just want to add tangled thread to everything <laughs> so I'm just gonna tangle up I mix some um, like a light peach a coral and a, and then gold so I mix those three and I just kind of tangle them up and you can see that I, I did staple them with my tiny attacher just to kind of hold them all together. And then I do place them behind my little frame in two areas. So I think it just adds some more fun to my layout. And I'm loving, love, loving Tangled Thread right now. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's something that I'm really enjoying adding to my layouts. I think it adds a lot of fun and texture. So added those and then I'm going to, what am I going to do now? I think I didn't want to add anything else to it. I was happy with the way that it looked. I just wanted to add my title. So I went back and forth through a few of these gold, uh, gold, some pink, some yellow stickers to try to see what I wanted to use. And I decided to go with these. These are the Dear Lizzie stickers from Documentary. So um, I love these. I have like three packs of these because I'm obsessed with them. So, <laughs> and you know what? In all fairness, I do use them. A lot so you know I have three packs but I do use them a lot so <laughs> you know it, it's okay that I bought a bunch of packs because I just love them and I actually I was looking at a store the other day and I don't think they even have them anymore in a lot of places so I'm so glad that I bought three packs because otherwise I wouldn't be able to find them now and sometimes I do run out of certain letters in the first pack you know that I use so um, I do have to go into the other packs and pull some letters so so yeah, so my title is going to be Welcome Little One. And at first I thought, okay, I'm going to put it sideways like that. And I do even put them down like that. But it was really bothering me. Like, my OCD just was going bonkers. <laughs> it's just really, really annoying me. So I'm going to flip them and they're going to be upright. So, you know, you can actually read it properly. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad. Um, and I could have totally left it. I mean, you can still read it, but, um, you know, probably would have made more sense. Like if I had it on the other side, like the welcome on the left side and then the, um, the little one on the bottom, right. But then it would have been too much over my, my stenciling. So it would have just not popped as much. So this was a better option in this, um, in this direction. So but I will just flip them over so you can see it looks fine but it's just it was annoying me <laughs> it was really annoying me so um, I'm gonna just decide wait a minute I can flip them over and then I flip them over so and then I'll be totally happy <laughs> so if you guys have not had a chance to check out the Speak Mom Scraps shop please make sure that you do um, remember if you use uh, my code which is caddy15 you guys get 15% off your order I mean that's pretty awesome she has a lot of new goodies coming in she has some new dyes she has some stencils and some paper and oh just some really nice things and of course her beautiful sequin mixes um she has some new ones now in um april the new april releases which are gorgeous so if you guys um want to you know are interested in any of those products make sure you go check her out she has a lot of the new shimmers uh products um a lot of new colors she has some spray mist now so it's awesome. I cannot wait to try out all the new stuff. I'm going to be placing an order myself pretty soon. So, um, so I can't wait to try it out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember I'm up every Sunday for this Beagle Mom Scrap Shop. So there should be a video every Sunday for me. And there's a blog post, which I will link to below. Make sure you guys check out the blog. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have had a great day and I will see you guys very, very soon with another project. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.